In this world, there are only two kinds of men. The men that women comply to and go out of their way for. The men that women chase the validation of. The men that women are keen to please and break all kinds of rules for. And the men they meet with defiance and resistance. The kind of men that they give all kinds of rules and excuses to. The kind of men that they don't bother about or grow out of their way for. Or have any sense of urgency around. They don't care to please these kind of men. If you've heard women say things to you like, Sorry, I don't do that on the first date. I'm not that kind of girl. Maybe some other time. We'll see. Then I got good news and bad news. The bad news is that she sees you as this type of guy. The guy that she doesn't care to please. But there is good news, contrary to popular belief. You see, women only make the distinction between the two kinds of guys based off of one thing and one thing only. The thing is called perception. How she'll treat you, good or bad, will depend solely on how you present yourself to her. And you heard me right, that's exactly true. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that women come in different categories and types. In reality, women change themselves depending on the guy they're in front of. And you're either the guy that she's lying to or lying for, you feel me? Which is where this comes in play. Let me explain very carefully. This is the compliance ladder. And what I designed this to be is a tool to help you know just where you are in the woman's mind and to track her emotional investment in you. This is very important because there's a massive correlation between a woman's investment in a man and how compliant she is to that man. So in summary, investment equals compliance. Tattoo that on your fucking forehead if you have to. This is something you'll hear me say throughout all my videos. Women do not act outside of their value system. That means, by nature, it is impossible for them to lie. There is a certain set of behaviors that women have when they like a guy versus when they don't like a guy. Your job is simple then. Make her elicit behaviors of interest towards you. The more investment you can get out of her, the more compliant she'll be. And the more compliant she is, the more invested she'll be. It's a beautiful spiral. And not only should everything you do around a woman be to inspire her to invest more in you, but you just set it up in a way that she knows that the dynamic is that she has to invest in you first before you invest in her. Quick example, let's say you want to buy a girl a drink, right? A lot of people think that's a bad thing to do because it gives her too much validation. What I've come to find is it's perfectly okay to do, as long as you make her give you some degree of compliance first. So for instance, before I buy a girl a drink or if she asks me to buy her a drink, I might reply with something like, sure, but I need you to give me a push-up. In a playful manner, of course. 